All right, theistic scuffles here on the political end of doing theology, raising consciousness about a particular issue. Um, we are well aware of the um, GLBT or LGBT uh, community, um, or rather vocal members within that community attempting to um, work towards the legalization of marriage uh, for homosexuals. Now, recently, uh, J.C. Penney, in their in some ad campaigns that they ran around Mother's Day and Father's Day, portrayed a uh, happy lesbian couple with children and a, a an, an apparently happy um, homosexual male couple with children for the Father's Day. Um, ad and so I have recently begun in um, a counter campaign a an online petition at change.org which addresses these ads um, we it's just petitioning JC Penney to quote stop promoting ads showing, showing homosexual households as normal in America and then below that, um, advertisements are not political machines to promote the GLBT agenda. They are designed to promote the products sold by the department store. J.C. Penney should confine their political work to Capitol Hill. In addition to this message, you can contact J.C. Penney headquarters um, at 972-431-1000 or at 1-800-322-1189. And... Um, when you sign that petition online, um, it it just sends out an email message, so they don't actually receive a phone call, um, which I suppose would be even more annoying. But uh, uh, they will have the the comfort of just receiving an email. I think it's to the in investor relations at J.C. Penney headquarters or something like that. Um, I don't even know if anybody reads that kind of. Uh, that any email that comes there, <laughs> unless it has to do with money, probably. Um, yes, some objections. Um, there is free speech. This is a, was a comment made by a friend of a friend on Facebook. Free speech, of course, J.C. Penney can plug um, the homosexuality or homosexual couples raising children um, as a normal thing in society. However, um, that sort of thing seems like it's more appropriate for the, their lobby in Washington, D.C., if they wish to promote that agenda. But J.C. Penney stands to lose a lot of business uh, from people who do not see and who happen to, you know, who know that this is not a normal um, uh, tri uh, uh, phenomenon in America, that you have um, homose happily uh, married homosexual couples um, who are raising children. Um, so at any rate, yes, J.C. Penney has free speech to um, do whatever campaign they want. Um, however, consumers also have the right to to boycott, to petition, and just to say that um, you know a, a more appropriate um, ad campaign showing um, more typical uh, family life with a heterosexual uh, married couple. Um, you know, I mean, is it is it the is it because it's the twentieth twenty first century that it's taboo to show a happily married heterosexual um, couple or something. Um, I don't know. You know, maybe maybe J.C. Penney does that too, or maybe they um, worked on on evening the score. I don't know. But at any rate, that petition is out there. So far, not a lot of supporters. Um, I didn't really expect this to be very popular, um, and. Um, I don't, I don't know that this is going to even generate a lot of attention. Uh, but I figured that this is, um, it's something that was, I think it was actually more offensive to mothers um, for to, to have the, the lesbian uh, couple um, showing that on the Mother's Day, uh, because this is a time that mothers want to um, gather together with their families, um, the majority of whom are, are, um, heterosexual. So I think that was, that was probably offensive. I'm, I'm not sure how many, I'm not sure if there are very many other guys. I don't think there are too many other petitions um, out there like this that are started by uh, men. So 
At any rate, I certainly invite your comments, and um, obviously there's a lot of feisty debate about this kind of topic, and maybe this will branch off into some other um, interesting videos where we can explore the issue further. All right, thanks for listening, watching.